real thing. You can download the Peaky yes. Blinders filter on a one book face, one show <laughs> face. <Facebook. laughs> I'm so oh, excited that I got the technology right. I've gotten everything wrong. Yeah, it's a it's a proper app. Yeah, it's can a do proper it. app. It's yeah. great. So Peaky Blinders, obviously a cultural phenomenon and known for the fantastic sets. Amazing. So we have also spent a fortune, Helen. I can and we see. have dressed our set <laughs> to completely echo yours. Yeah. You know, as a bit of a tribute. Yeah. Just to make you feel. BBC could really save money and take a leaf out of your book, <laughs> couldn't they? There you go. That's, that's what, what we that, thought. that's the worrying bit. Yeah. <laughs> there is a naked flame. I love fantastic. it. Fantastic. So it's series four. About yes. last time we saw each other, you were here talking about series three. I'm not completely obsessed with the programme. Good man. Uh, you're here doing uh, to talk about series four. In the meantime, by the way, congratulations. You got an OBE. I got an OBE. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. It is fantastic. Uh, what did she say I to was... you? Um, I said, uh, good morning, Your Royal Highness, and thank you very much for coming in person because it's so thrilling. It is thrilling yeah. that you get it from the big cheese. <laughs> and she said, um, she smiled and she said, uh, uh, what are you in at the moment? And I said, nothing, it's just for general services for shouting in the dark. Um, <laughs> and she said, I know exactly who you are. This is very well deserved. And I said, well, thank you. Actually, the last time we met was at Windsor Castle when we were handing you a BAFTA. And she said, well, we do like to reciprocate. <laughs> here you go. Oh, that's so fantastic. cool. Very quick. Amazing. You nearly missed the invite, though, didn't you? I did. I thought it was a parking ticket. I thought it was another <laughs> thing that Damien hadn't paid. So I threw it onto his desk and shut the door again and then actually got a phone call saying are you going to accept it or are you not and I said what and they said you've been offered uh, an, OBE. The, an OBE at which point <gasps> I practically stood <laughs> saluted on the phone and went well, yes very well deserved as well Thank say. You. and we'll be talking more about piggy blinders and showing an exclusive clip a little bit later I can't wait for that we're also hoping to talk to team no and frankly I mean, if a man was standing there, I was like, you lot put me in this situation. You can get me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. It's like, you weren't squeamish ten months ago. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Now, let's talk about... <laughs> Sorry. Let's talk about Piggy Blinders, shall yes, we? Okay, right, Dave, yes. Okay, Dave, Dave, can we do the lighting? Tweak the knobs, let the scene... Yeah, 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 lower, lower, yeah. lower, lower. Right, cue some misty, moody floor effects. Yeah, come on, a little bit lower. Come on. Right. Good, look at that. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. You got it. That's Peaky Blinders. Yeah. No, it's not. I should do it like that. Shouldn't Peaky That's Blinders? Right, yeah, yeah good. So season three. I mean, season three four. was intense, but <laughs> season four, oh. they say, is off the charts. Helen. Season four is is as good as season one, right. and I, I think it's the. I mean, there was a moment in season one when Tommy has red dye in his hand and he blows it at the yeah, horse, yeah. and I remember yeah. thinking, I remember this is it. And in the same, there's the same moment in this first episode of season four that I looked at it and I just thought it's completely, it's back there. It's, it's, I'm so excited about so, it. So, I mean, we don't want to give any spoilers, always awkward, but... Or it really, is she has had a vision, but either way, now she believes that she, the souls of her children are with her. Ooh. And so now, like Tommy and Arthur, she is fearless because she believes that she has no fear of death and now nothing is going to stop them. So all you need to know is are they going to destroy each other or the enemy? Oh. And the enemy, well, we've got a very interesting enemy, haven't we? There's some familiar faces of, of, of uh, joined the cast. Some very familiar faces. Oscar winners, Adrian Brody. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it's it? It's very cool. I mean, this is, this is what's so clever, is that actually no one is united more than when, uh, when people know what they hate. And the Mafia arrive. Yeah. And as the Mafia arrive, the, that's the moment that you think, are the Shelby now, Shelby's yeah. actually going to be able to defeat them or not? And so they all go back to a proper gangster flick, which is defending the turf, so the Shelby's are back in garrison oh. and watery lane. You're and really, just really. <laughs> it's, you can no, tell she's I'm very good at telling this. Isn't it? I mean, no, 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 I am. I mean, sometimes you sit here and go, watch it. I won't. But, the, but, um, <laughs> but, but, but this, this is, is what happened to me last time when we met. And because I, 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 yeah, I went, you became obsessed, obsessed with the program. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I can't wait. I tell you what it is. It's the quality of of the writing and the and. The quality across and the cinematography, the, cinematography, the acting. We've uh, we've um, we were trying to find a clip, weren't we? Well, we were. We but show, the problem you. was, gosh, that mist and fog is playing havoc with my. Throat. I know. But <clears throat> Auntie Polly, your character, too naughty in episode one yeah. and two. 
Yeah. So we had to go to episode three, and eventually we found a clip that's suitable for this time of night. So. Absolutely great. Now, there's a character who actually appears tomorrow, Jessie mm. Eden, who was a real character from the 20th century, a fascinating character. Tell us about her. So she was, she was uh, in Birmingham in 1926 and then at 31. She stood and she made 10,000 women walk out of a motor factory to ask for equal pay. She did it twice. She then worked in Russia. She then came back to this country again and stood for tenants. I mean, she was just this extraordinary character. The Jessie Eden that we have is not exactly the same, but Steve Knight, our writer, talks about seeing these characters from the corner, out of the corner of his eye, and he just refers, like he does to mm -hmm. um, Eden, actually, Anthony Eden, and like he does to Churchill in this. So, so it, she's got one of the coolest entrances, yeah. actually, in episode one. It's a very cool first scene. Is it? Yeah. And it's brilliant, though, that the writers are including such a timely storyline. Yeah. I mean, that's very much in the news as well at the minute. But even your daughter, who's just 10, we believe, is very passionate about the subject. Yeah. Good Manon has marched. Manon, when I wasn't very well, actually knocked on neighbours' doors and got her godmother, Mari, to take her down there and march for, for equality brilliant. in January. Yeah, I'm very proud of her. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't wait for it. I really can't. The new series of uh, Peaky Blanders begins tomorrow, 9 o'clock on BBC Two. What? Yes, I was going to say, there's a movie, though, isn't there? There is a movie. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that later. And there's a musical. <laughs> there's a musical as well. <laughs> um, now, on last night's show...